hi everyone welcome back here to the channel my name is esperanza if today is your first time here welcome and stay tuned so that i'll tell you more about self-funding so probably you've already have your visa and you're relocating to abroad or you've applied for a university and you can't wait to hear from them and then start your journey of self-funding you know self-funding is not an easy task and a lot of people actually do not really get the full story about self-funding some of them just get half of the story from their friends and they decide to come here and then face reality in this video i'm going to talk to you about what you should expect if you come to do self-funding so there are different self-funding that you can do we have the self-funding that is you alone doing the self-funding and then we have the other self-funding where you're coming with a dependent that is your partner your wife and also another aspect of self-funding where people take loan sell their property and then relocate abroad keep watching and let me tell you here is the truth of self-funding if you're coming to do self-funding which is all by yourself alone then you should know you're coming to work harder yes extremely harder because you need to work pay for your fees pay for your cost of living and actually the cost of living in the uk is rising now so if you're coming to do full self-funding then you should expect a lot and also you have to pass your models like the course you're coming to do you need to make sure that you pass so if you're coming to do self-funding where you're gonna work and then pay for your fees and at the same time take care of yourself just know what you're coming to do to yourself it will be extremely harder you need to pick more shifts and then work and it's just like you can't get a professional job you'll probably be doing menial job like healthcare delivery working in a factory shop and all that and that is going to be like a very difficult one for you another aspect is people that come with their partners and all that probably is quite okay because their partner is going to work 40 hours and you are going to work like 20 hours so it's like 60 hours of work and you're going to support each other this aspect is also another case that is if you don't tell your wife or your partner the expectation like all the money you're going to make is going into fees and also the cost of living when your partner comes with you it becomes so difficult because sometimes financial pressures also cause a sweet relationship to turn around another aspect is people actually selling their properties and then relocating here and then facing reality like you sell your property pay for your fees and everything you're done with the course and you don't know what's next for you in your life or therefore if you're doing self-funding all by yourself working at the same time paying your fees and all that it's very very difficult you're going to be tired you're going to be fed up you're going to feel like you haven't made the best decision and it's so difficult because a lot of people are actually going through this mind you people have done this and they are okay with it but imagine yourself paying like let's say fifteen thousand pounds and also paying for your rent like let's say approximately 500 pounds how are you going to manage this you're going to be so tired and the truth about living in abroad or in the uk is that nobody's going to borrow you one thousand pounds no nobody's going to borrow you 500 pounds if you've moved here you need to stay here for a period of time for the bank to assess you financially and even borrow you 200 or 250 pounds that is a credit card so it's quite difficult to borrow money or get a loan when you're new here so you need to make the right decision um, the best thing you can do is look out for scholarship in your home country and also make sure that maybe you've taken a loan from home. I'm not saying this is what you have to do, but you need to review this. A loan from home that can support you and also you can work at the same time. The last one is selling your property. If you know you will get back what you're selling, then you can go ahead. But if you sell this property and then you come here and you cannot even rent a place, or you rent a place and you look back and tell yourself oh my god i had a very nice place and i've given it up just to relocate here it's the best thing to review all the decisions that you're going to make now so that in the future you don't regret it completely so i'm here to tell you the complete truth you need to make sure you look out for scholarship even a discounted fees on your um school fees and also don't come here fully just to work and pay fees and then also do the cost of living. You're definitely going to be tired. And if you don't pass your models, you probably um, settle for jobs like, you know, healthcare, which is quite, which can be quite difficult. 
but all the people are doing this for a very long time so review your decision and if you're coming for self-funding know that it's not going to be an easy tax thank you all for watching this video today again make sure you make the right decision you can always do self-funding but make sure that you choose the right self-funding bye for now